actually Elizabeth is a customer at Pomegranate Cafe. So in some ways these things to come, come to us at Pomegranate and we're receptive to the ideas. So we had just started talking to Elizabeth and found out that she had this amazing project going on and this amaz amazing vision and dream. And Pomegranate is really about supporting visions, dreams and community. And we decided to start this chimpanzee bowl and some of the proceeds go to her vision. Um, and we created a bowl that we thought chimpanzees would love to eat as well as our customers. So a lot of celebrities think it's great to have exotic animals as pets. Um, yeah, a baby makes a great pet and then they grow up and then they go through puberty and then they're not a great pet. Then they're extremely dangerous, extremely destructive and they get sent to biomedical labs. We're trying to send a powerful message that chimpanzees and other apes and monkeys are simply not pets. I talked with Elizabeth about it and it sounds like a really splendid idea. Her idea, I think, is to gather chimpanzees that are sort of dispossessed, they're no longer useful, and, and find them sanctuary. I mean, in the, in, the, in the largest sense, a place that they can come and live out and maybe even you know, reclaim some of their lives. It sounds spectacular to me. People are arguing on the genetic level, but we're somewhere between 96 and 98 percent genetically the same to a chimpanzee. In fact, chimpanzees are more closely genetically related to humans than they are to gorillas. This is something if I gave to a chimp, they would absolutely destroy it, and they would love it. It is um, created, it, it's all natural, it's super healthy. It was created by the food artists here at Pomegranate Cafe. Um, it's the homemade granola, has bananas, um, coconuts, different seeds, different berries, um, and I can't even remember all of them, but it really is an amazing breakfast. If people would like to know more about Gaia, you could, they could check out our website. It's www.gaiasanctuary.org. We're also on Facebook under Gaia Sanctuary. Richard, to be nourished in a way that is alive, but to know that you're also supporting life and doing that, that's where we gotta get to.